Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Ozark Trail 5 quart cast iron Dutch oven and some modification I did on this version. The item comes in a big bulky cardboard box. Uh, there are some more information on it. Uh, it's a big heavy version. Uh, I got that from Walmart and the price currently as of uh, 2021 is under $20 so I did want to give it a try. So the item contains of two pieces. We have the bottom part and the lid part. The bottom part has a nice big uh, spring, springy handle, so that looks pretty sturdy and should uh, last. The finish on the inside is a bit on the on the rough side from the casting. Uh, this item is made in China, that's why it is uh, that cheap. The the five quart size I could not test out yet exactly if that is five quart or not, but uh, it's so big. As we look on my bigger hand, it's that uh, big that you can cook quite a bit of food with it for multiple people. And uh, so that shouldn't be a, a problem at all. Unfortunately, uh, that makes it really heavy too. The whole thing is quite heavy, so that's nothing for backpacking. If you go with a car or something, that, that works. But uh, I wish they would make a uh, smaller version like a three quart or a two quart one for a bit easier transportation. The uh, item has feet on it, uh, three, three uh, feet. Uh, the feet are rather, rather uh, small so I welded on those uh, uh, three plates there uh, because we have a bit of uh, wet ground here and uh, if we fill that up with food those those uh, tiny feet could uh, sink into the ground so I did that as a modification on it we see how well it's gonna work uh, right now it's brand new I did not uh, had the chance yet to uh, test it out then the second part is the lid a massive lid with a bit of rim so you can uh, put the the cockles or whatever you have on top of it too to, uh, to heat or uh, bake and uh, that is pretty pretty well made the problem was on the lid the handle is only screwed on as we see there with those two screws so I did not want to want to uh, use that in that way so I left them screwed on plus I welded them on uh, so that the, the part is uh, durable connected. Now welding cast metal is a bit a problem or can be a bit a problem so you need to see how well it's gonna work with your welding setup. So all in all for those uh, less than $20 for that item I think it's a pretty good deal it should last uh, one problem that will be fixed the next is uh, the impregnation of it. Uh, some uh, say they use uh, candle oil uh, for for uh, impreg impregnated. So I'm gonna remove uh, most of as best as I can most of the, the stuff, the inside, especially on the lower part there, with the. Uh, angle grinder and uh, some sandpaper and uh, also smooth it out in the process and then I gonna heat it up and use uh, a good oil to uh, season it to impregnate it so that uh, the food uh, should be then more healthy plus we should have a, a better taste than from a possible uh, candle oil or whatever they use in uh, China that is maybe not that healthy. So all in all, if you look for a Dutch oven, uh, this could be something for you. Uh, without the changes, those three changes, the feet welded on, the handle welded on, and uh, 
then uh, smooth out the inside and re-season it, oil it. I would not uh, use it for my personal use, but uh, yeah, your your uh, situation may be different. So for $20, that's a pretty good deal, as best as I see. So that much about the Ozark Trail 5-quart cast iron Dutch oven.